It was the summer space race between billionaires, Virgin Galactic's Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. This is incredible. Both looking to capitalize on the new frontier of space tourism. For the time being, NASA will continue to lead the way when it comes to space exploration. I'm at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Here at NASA, they call this the center of the universe, and that's because virtually every probe that has visited and explored our solar system was built in a NASA clean room like this. Missions that are monitored and controlled from here. So the drill went into the rock there. Including the Mars Perseverance rover, today exploring the red planet looking for signs of life. Jennifer Trosper is the Mars 2020 project manager. Let's start with the exciting news. You have Mars rock. We got it. We got a sample from Mars and now we're carrying it along with us. Missions like this, building blocks for the future. One of our technology demonstrations extracts oxygen from the carbon dioxide atmosphere, and that oxygen can be used for astronauts to breathe or for rockets to take off on Mars. First, NASA has to prove they can return something to Earth from millions of miles away. Another probe will be sent to return those core samples, but that will take a decade. The sample return is a real critical component to showing that we can bring something back from Mars. Therefore, we're on the cusp of sending people and bringing them back. And before that, a return to where it all started. We are preparing to send humans back to the moon. It's going to be the first woman on the moon and the first person of color. First, a mission to circle the moon in 2023, and then targeting a year later to walk on the lunar surface again. Is there any scientific goal to going back to the moon. There is water on the moon. We want to get there and learn how to harvest that water, turning that water into hydrogen and oxygen, and that will give us the fuels to explore the heavens. Fuels and research NASA believes it needs for a long duration mission that would allow astronauts to get to Mars. But the program is facing major hurdles. A lawsuit brought by Blue Origin accusing NASA of not fairly evaluating their lunar lander proposal has led to a slowdown. And a recent Inspector General report says delays in creating the next generation spacesuit make a return to the moon in 2024 not feasible. But Nelson is holding on to that original deadline. We'll overcome all of this and we'll be well on our way. A goal to once again fulfill the destiny of our space program, leaving the gravity of Earth behind to discover, explore, and learn. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.